We're going to continue our study on the Holy Ghost. Who is the Holy Ghost? Some say, well, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Well, first of all, the Holy Ghost is not a it. It is a person. He's the third person of the triune God. He's God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And we talked the last time about the scriptures that was in the Old Testament referring to the Holy Ghost. Some think that the Holy Ghost never was known of until on the day of Pentecost. But no, the Holy Ghost has been there since God's been. He's there from the beginning and he'll be there throughout eternity. And uh, so tonight we want to talk about the scriptures in the New Testament. And it's kind of interesting to know these things. Uh, and the Holy Ghost, everybody should seek for the Holy Ghost. And that is the third person of the triune God. We have Many people have God the Father and God the Son, which is Jesus Christ. But what about the Holy Ghost? See, in the New Testament, when the disciples were there, they had asked, uh, they had asked, the disciples had been asked to go into the upper room and to tarry there. Hello. What a surprise. Praise the Lord. All right. The rest of them with you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise God. Let's just stop right there a minute. Just stop it there for a minute.
in this King James Bible, if it's not that, it'll open a door. And it'll open the door to division. It'll open the door to separation. Let me tell you something about Bibles, brother. Let me tell you, every Bible that you got ain't the real thing. Let me tell you, those, some of those Bibles that they turn around under the door today, they'll cause division in the church. They'll say something to do it. They'll say something to do it. Let me tell you, if it's wrong, it's wrong. If it's right, it's right. Hey, no way around it. Bless you. That's it. Bless you. You ever had this? People, the Bible says if truth be forsaken, you do peace and not going to last long. Huh? If you forsake the truth, you forget about peace. Oh, yeah, man. Huh? Look at our country we got now. Come on. Right. Amen. Amen. Everybody says Trump's a devil. Well, let me ask you something. If Trump is such a devil, why is the devil always trying to run him off? The devil don't find this a devil. I cannot believe that Hallelujah. our own American citizens Come on. would want to divide our country yeah. Amen. Oh, yes. into three or four countries. That's right. That's true. It's happening. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Everybody always told me the last five, well, the first five years I started pastoring. Everybody's always concentrated on this Muslim thing. Yeah. Let me tell you something. You better forget about the Muslim right. thing. That's just another religion that people love. Now let me tell you something you better worry about. That's the homosexual yeah. brother. They're taking over the church yeah. today. And they're going to be in a pulpit near you soon. What you say? Oh, so that's an abomination of God. Right. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But yes. what's happened? Come on. Those enticing words yep. Amen. have began to allow people right. in churches to receive them. Right, right. Huh? Right, Lord. Amen. You know what the problem is? Come on. They all say you gotta love everybody and everybody's got a soul. That is true. Jesus loves everybody, but Jesus hates sin. That's right. He can't condone sin. He didn't love what everybody wants to. He'll never condone sin. He didn't condone it in me, and he's not gonna condone it in anybody else. Amen. Bless the Lord. I didn't mean to get off on the Lord. But our concern is for the truth. Right. All I'm preaching now, besides healing messages, which God stopped me from having to do. Is concerned for the church. Right. The next three or four missions, you got about seven, eight pages long, it's going to be concerned for the church. Hallelujah. Why am I preaching this? I'm going to, well, look around you. Right. Shouldn't it time for God's people to be concerned about the church? Amen. Right. Huh? right. Get off our stool and do nothing right. and start doing a little praying. Start doing a little something. You see, everybody's laid back. Everybody says, well, I ain't got to do nothing if somebody else can do it. Let somebody else don't need to do it. We need to do it. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. Yes. That's right. Yes. Praise God. That's right. Amen. <laughs> Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bible talked about. Hallelujah. This crook <coughs> that'll deceive the heart. It'll pervert judgment. It'll cause you to wind yourself into your own affections. And the first thing I had to do is stop loving me more than I love God. Right. That's what people got to do. Right. Amen. Right. Huh? Amen. Right. Amen. Let's move. You must have that godly jealousy, brother. Yeah, yeah. Where's godly jealousy gone? Right. Come on, man. Hmm? Amen. Used to, you know, people lay out of church and didn't want to come to church and the congregation, not the pastor. You see, everybody leaves everything to the pastor. Right. Let oh, me yeah. tell you something. I don't think it's right for a pastor to have to run from house to house begging people to come to church. Let me tell you, if you have Christ, brother, you want to reward him now for not forsaking your sibling of yourself as the sin of day approaches because it's coming, brother, and we're going to get back in church. But let me tell you something. God wants us in house. He wants us in the house. Amen. Amen. Paul said, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He was a fear upon him, not a manly fear, a godly fear. Right. About what? He said, By any means, how the serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety. And what did he say? That your minds should be what? Corrupted. Come on. If one person Come on, man. can get a congregation thinking differently yep. about what they've already learned, yep. watch out. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Somebody out there is going to believe him. Oh, yeah. Man. 
Come on now. Hmm. Amen. That's what happened. Yes. It don't take one. That's right. Right, right. It only took Eve. Yeah. Right. Who what? Submitted something to Adam. Yeah, man. And he what? Submitted to her. Right. His interest was more interested in her yeah. than God. Look it up. He chose to take what she had instead of remembering what God said. Amen. At the moment, boy, we get caught up in the moment sometimes and we just do our own thing, brother. Let me tell you, we got to stay out of the moment yeah. and stay in touch with God. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. Sometimes you ask me, why'd you do the things you do? Well, I was caught up in the moment. Too bad we get caught up in the moment with God all the time. Right. Yeah, that's true. Okay. See, something happened. Paul talked about somebody else coming. He said, somebody else is going to come after me. And they named him in the Bible. And he's going to be preaching another gospel. Right. Huh? Yeah. And if you don't pay attention to what Paul said in the letters and pay attention to what he preached, then here comes this other man. Right. This other man's going to come in. He's going to right. preach another Jesus. And I'm going to tell you, if you don't let what I said stick in your mind, right. then what that other man's going to do, right. he's going to change your mind. Right. Right. God's people's minds have been changed. Yeah. Why you want God's people so much? Why do you make churches for? Oh, Jesus. Huh? Amen. Let me remind you, God didn't make church for the sinner. No, right. God made church for God's people. Amen. Yes, he did. That the sinner might be brought into conviction. Yeah. Uh -huh. But through power of conviction, yeah. they might be saved. Right. Not only they might be saved, but they might be also healed. Right. But on. the church is for God's people. Yeah. Quit letting the devil run it. Right, that's right. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. When he talked to the Corinthians, Jesus. what did he talk about? Jesus. About being corrupted by what? False prophets, false apostles. Yeah. Here they come. Come on. Huh? Amen. So what was he beginning to tell them? He says, listen, I don't care how many come and preach this or how many come and preach that. There's only one Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. One Jesus. Right. One spirit. Right. One God. I'll make up one. If anybody preaches any other thing, come on, man. Be careful. Yes. Yes, you might begin to listen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to quit here. Bless him. Jesus. He told them, don't listen to men. Right. Because they'll come without cause and they'll draw you away and they'll cause you their conversion to. There's your division right there. If man can put a thought in man's mind. Come on. You see, we're not allowed, to, we're not supposed to allow men to put thoughts right. in our mind. Right. Any man. We should not allow them to put thoughts in our mind. Right. Now we can hear what a man has to say, but sometimes I don't want to hear what a man has right. to say Amen. because most of the time what they say don't line up with God. Right. Amen. Are we supposed to hang around people like that? The Bible said no. If you hang around somebody that's always got something to argue about with you about this, get away from it. Right. How old are you? 76? 72? 75? You probably in your 70s? 80. 80? I bet you money ain't a man can convince you about this book, is it? That it's wrong anywhere. That's it, brother. There'll never be one. Why? Because you know. Right. The knowledge and the wisdom that right. God has given you. Right. There ain't no man going to come and tell right. you something different right. that you already know. Right. The Bible says what? The Spirit leads you and guides you into all truth. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. The Bible said you need not man teach you anything. Yeah. That he will lead and guide yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Watch who you depend on. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, I'm on Listen here. Bless the Lord. Listen here. We gotta stand our guard. Yes. Mm, these enticing words. Oh, Jesus. Huh? Jesus. And the Bible says, be afraid and be aware. Not be manly afraid, be godly afraid. Have godly fear. Yes. We're not supposed to fear no man. Amen. But we're supposed to have godly right. fear like we've never seen. Right. Because I'm gonna tell you what. Right. Come on. Anybody at any moment, at any time, if we're not careful, yeah. can entice you to eat. Come on. They can entice you. Yes. Let me, I'm going to go back to Eve a minute. 
when, when she gave way, what was she mentally thinking for a moment? For a moment, she was thinking the possibility, insinuated by the serpent, that he just might be right. Oh, Jesus. I took over our church. That's more. First of all, I took it up to the preacher began to preach. When he bought one, he started reading stuff. It wasn't in my Bible. Right. So I knew right then, boom, it was gone. Man. So we got rid of that because I couldn't believe that all those years we grew up with the King James Version. And here comes my family, own family, bringing their trash into my church, my daddy's church. Right. You see, that made me angry right then. Man. Because I'm going to tell you something, when you're brought up, Come on. the Bible says that a tradition, right. I'm not talking about manly traditions, yeah. I'm talking about godly traditions that apply to the church. Yeah. 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 Well, my Sabbath ain't on Sunday. I don't care when your Sabbath is, as long as you're in church. As long as you obey God and serve God, you can go to church on Saturday all you want to. I don't care. God don't care. God don't care if you have church on Monday. Because God is in you every day. It's every day church. David said to remember the Sabbath. Remember it and keep it holy. Those that have church on Saturday instead of Sunday, if they don't go to church on Sunday, that's fine. As long as they keep it holy. Yeah. Right. Amen. Remember it. Yeah. Amen. Right. Amen. Don't condemn people because they have church on Saturday and you have it on Sunday. Right. Bro, right. they in their place of God just like you are. That's it. Right. Amen. Huh? Amen. Don't condemn them. Right. If they serve the same Jesus as you, why do you want to condemn them? Right. 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 Come on. Lord. Bless the Lord. As long as they remember it. Yes. Amen. And keep it holy. Right. People even break up and divide over church over silly things like that. Right. You see, we're not supposed to pick out a day that we want to serve God more than we do the other days. Right. I told her to put on our sign. I mean, Easter's gone. That, that Passover is over. You see, but he's still alive this Sunday. Right. Amen. Everybody in the church signs on, on, on Passover day says he's alive. Well, I told her to put on our side. He's still alive this Sunday. Right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. It's the only time you'll ever see it on a preacher outside of a church. It's on Passover. Yeah. They call it Easter. I call it Passover. Right. When I became the knowledge of the truth, I stopped calling it Easter. Right. Amen. I don't right. worship an egg. Amen. Nope. Oh. Nope. Amen. Look it up. That's right. My God didn't have a big golden egg wash up on the ocean. They came and cracked it. Now came a buggy. No. To do that. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Two came to knowledge of the truth. Right, man. Right. right. Amen. And he's still alive. Yeah. You know, yes, we don't we don't need to remind people on Passover that he's alive. That's right. We need to remind them every Sunday. Right, right. Amen. 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 That's why people are dying. Right. That's why the church is dying. Right. We don't remind them enough. Amen. Come on, man. Amen. Bless the Lord. Well, I ain't coming through this. Bless the Lord. I'm doing it. Hallelujah. You know, if you've got enticing words, you have a quality about you. Come on. You have a quality where you can have the pretense of wisdom and you can be just as humble as the next person. If you have that quality about you. People have that. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. You know, if you're not careful, well, people ought to send you oceaning out there on <laughs> Beachfront property. Amen. Yep. On the phone. Come on. Come on. They can entice you, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Look at you. Bless the Lord. The Bible said, let no man beguile you. Right. How? Of your reward. In your voluntary humility. What? What is he talking about? In worshiping of angels, women, including those things which have not seen, vainly puffed up in their flesh and the mind. We even have a preachers come and tell me they talk to angels. <laughs> No, nah, you better talk to God. That's it. Amen. That's you know, right. You don't worship angels. No, nope. man. You nope. worship God. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. I don't need you to tell me how many angels you've been talking to. I'll just turn around and tell you, well, you talk to all the angels you want to, and you worship all them you want to. I don't talk to God. That's right. I just go ahead and get it straight from the throne room. I don't have to have that attitude because he's already got one. His name is Jesus Christ. And then he came when he whispered that small, still voice that comes to our ear, brother. We know when he speaks. Amen. 
You got to recognize him. Right. People Amen. stop recognizing when God's speaking. Right. Amen. Hmm. All right, let's go. Amen. Huh. Paul said the Colossians' problem was they wouldn't hold in the head. What? They wouldn't hold in the head. They're not holding the head from which all the body and the body joints are fit together. Right. They're not keeping the head the head. Right, right. Over our church is a sign that says Christ is the head of this house. Yes, yes. If you keep Christ the head of the house, then the joints will fall in. That's right. Come on. Huh? Amen. Come on. You can't do nothing with no head. That's That's right. Right. That's Amen. The church has become headless horsemen. Right. That's right. You're riding without a leader. Right. Amen. Come on. And when everybody loses their head, you have no leadership. That's it. Amen. How many loves the Lord? Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. Amen. Brother, I'm going to do one more thing. Just be careful of it. Jeez. Don't allow people to intrude on things that they have no need of. Right. Huh? Right. You know what church is all about. You know what church is all about. You know what church is Amen. all about. Amen. It ain't gonna mean nobody coming here to tell you what to do. How to do it, when to do it. Where to do it. Amen. You know it. Come on. Right. You know church. Right. Huh? Amen. God told us to go on every window. Yep. Every door. Let's get let's, let's do that. Come on up, y'all. We're going to know everybody. We're going to know everyone, inside and outside, every yes. door. God said, just go do what I said to do. Want you all here today. Right.